hello beautiful people welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is oluchi emo and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cover a heart shaped cake in fondant this was the last cake i made before leaving nigeria now if this is something you're interested in let's get right into it so i have some cake crumbs here and then i have some buttercream here i have mixed some of the cake crumbs with my buttercream which is what i refer to as the compote so this is it if you've watched my videos on fruit cake you are well conversant with this i believe you should be so i'm just going to go right ahead to show you how i go about covering my cakes especially my fruit cakes and this heart shaped cake so to be honest i'm just going to give you some background story into this like i said it was the last cake i made before leaving nigeria and by this time i was already packing my things from my studio i was already packing my things from the house so it wasn't like it was the most convenient video for me to record but i just decided to capture this for you so that i can share with you and teach you as well so it was not the smoothest recording i must say but i believe that you're going to learn from it so let's proceed um i already have my crumb coats on it so i'm now going in with my bent scraper i have some water on the bent scraper because i washed it and that's why you can see some water on it so i'm just going to smoothen the body now this is not the actual crumb coat for this cake it is just the compote which i used first to seal in the layers or to close the layers of the cake so that by the time i put my fondant the lines won't show through so that is what i'm doing now just scraping the compote after which i would apply my buttercream for crumb coating so this is it this is what it looks like i just tinted my fondant so i'm trying to knead it in so that i can get the colors to blend in well now this is my fondant recipe which some of you have already gotten thanks to those that have enrolled for this class it is still available but i'm afraid that the price will be going up soon so if you would like to get this fondant recipe please send me a mail to ibcakesig at gmail.com thank you so now i am going to go in with my buttercream this doesn't have any fruit crumbs in it so i'm just using it to crumb coat my cake and you can see that it is of a spreadable consistency i don't want it to pull off my compote and i want it to be easy for me to work with as well so it is not too thick and it is not too light it's just of a good moderate spreadable consistency so i'm going in back to knead my fondant so that i can start with the rolling of my fondant and I'm picking out something there I think I have some crumbs on the table some cake crumbs on the table so I'm just picking it out for those of you who watched the video before this you hear me talk about excellence now this is one of the things I do I can't stand spots in my fondant so if I just see anything there I will pick it out and then proceed with what I have to do but I always like to have my work clean yes now i'm dusting my work table with icing sugar and i get this question often why are you using icing sugar is it better than corn flour is it better than cornstarch tell me the difference and all of that there's no special reason this is what i learned and have been using for years and it's been working for me so none is above the other just use what works for you I've been using icing sugar like I said for years instead of corn flour and it just works fine. In the earlier days I started with corn flour but I went for another class again and my teacher taught me how to use icing sugar and that is what I've been using ever since and it works just fine for me. So please just feel free to do what you're comfortable with and what works for you. I believe that's clear and I believe that I must have answered your questions for those who are always wondering or want to know the difference between using corn flour and icing sugar for dusting your work surface the next thing i'm doing is to take my measurements i believe you must have watched my video on fondant mistakes you should avoid if you have watched that video you would understand the importance of doing this and also adding extras when you measure so 
I've taken the measurement for the height and the width as well and before I wrap up my fondant I'm going to go in with a smoother and then cut both edges so that they are clean before I proceed. Apologies, this was off camera and I didn't know. I had so many things going on that day in the background, so I was just trying my best to make sure that I covered this as much as possible. So I'm unwrapping right now and then just smoothing as I work, cleaning and rubbing, smoothing as I go along. So I have cut off the excess fondant and I'm going in with my smoother as well. I'm applying pressure so that it smooth things out. I have a smooth and a clean finish. Once again, if you've watched the video on fondant mistakes to avoid, you can relate with this. So you can see the excess fondant above my cake. Now I'm just using a clean blade to cut off the excess and make sure that it is flush with my cake. So just to mention for those who may not be aware, I already applied some water to the fondant before applying the top. So what I'm just doing is to smoothen it out and also to make sure it adheres. Now I'm going in with my bleed to take off the excess after which I would be going to the next step. Now this is wafer paper I'm working with, I decided to just experiment. I have not done this before so what I want to do is to color the wafer paper so i'm just cutting it free hand freestyle i just wanted to have jagged ends so i'm just cutting it up with my hands after which i would go in to dust it with some petal dust So based on my calculation, I decided to take some shortening before taking the petal dust to paint or dust the wafer paper. So that's what I'm doing now and this is the effect. You paint and then it sticks, it stays on. If you just paint with the luster dust, it won't be as deep as this. Next is the layering and what I'm doing is just to apply some water behind the wafer paper to dampen it after which I layered them on the body of the cake bit by bit and then I decided to just add a bit of color by going in with some gold dust to paint the edges of the wafer, wafer paper I beg your pardon. So this is it this is the finished look some parts of the wafer paper were not sticking so what I just did was to apply some more water and hold it in place for it to get dry so these are the flowers that i'll be using i'm afraid i couldn't cover everything as regards this part and the finishing of the cake but i'm almost done so this is how i prep my flowers for use these are just artificial silk flowers i'm just going to tape the stem before inserting it into my cake
now this is the inscription in white and i later painted it in gold and i hope that you learned a thing or two from this video please don't forget to like this video the likes are really going down and it's not helping my channel at all so please i'm begging like this video and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please click on the subscribe button and turn on notifications as well and if you have any questions kindly drop them in the comments until i see you in my next video stay happy stay safe and stay blessed